Are you a fan of the Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes movie? Did you know that Neil Sandilands has been added to the actors in the Planet of the Apes movies? Is the star actor able to fit in well? Would replacing Caesar be an easy task for Planet of the Apes producers? Would you like to know more about this? Then ensure to watch this video to the end, as we will discuss the Flash star joining the new Planet of the Apes movie in detail. First up, what other movies has Neil Sandilands recently starred in? Neil Sandilands, the star actor of The Flash, has landed a part in Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. According to Deadline, the actor, who did play Thinker in the CW's The Flash, will star in the entire cast along with several newly unveiled actors. He also recently appeared as General Stephen Abbott in Netflix's adaptation of Sweet Tooth. Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, supervised by Maze Runner's Wes Ball, will take place many years after 2017's War for the Planet of the Apes, although producers keep plot details under wraps. In his native South Africa, where he started his acting career, Sandilands appeared in a number of different productions. Most famously, he played Bart Kruger in the television series series Seven Delan, which debuted in 2000. After seven years, he left the program, and in 2007, he relocated to Los Angeles. A cameo appearance on the popular FX series The Americans was acquired for Sandilands in 2015. He got recurring appearances as Titus in the CW's The 100 and Paco in Sundance TV's Hap and Leonard the following year, in 2016. In 2017, Sandilands played Clifford DeVoe, the thinker, in the main cast of the CW superhero program The Flash, and appeared as a guest on the venerable CBS drama and CIS. So, what other cast were announced alongside Neil? Along with Sandilands, Travis Jeffrey from Unbroken, Sarah Wiseman from One of Us is Lying, Ross Samuel Weldavsky from The Clearing, and Lydia Peckham from Cowboy Bebop have been cast. Previously confirmed cast members include Eka Darville, Jessica Jones, Owen Teague, It, Freya Allen, The Witcher, and Peter Macon, The Orville. This is the tenth movie in the Planet of the Apes sequel, and the fourth in the reboot saga from 20th Century Fox. The reboot began with Rise of the Planet of the Apes in 2011, which was followed by Dawn of the Planet of the Apes in 2014 and War for the Planet of the Apes in 2017. Alongside Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, we are advantaged to resume the series' heritage of imaginative, thought-provoking cinema and cannot wait to share Wes's exceptional perspective for this new chapter with viewers in 2024, said Steve Asbell, president of 20th Century Studios. Up next, how is replacing Caesar, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes' toughest challenge? The sequel to the critically acclaimed Planet of the Apes Apes relaunch trilogy, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, might face the difficult task of substituting Andy Serkis' as Caesar. Given the official statement of Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, accompanied by a brief synopsis and cast reveal, it appears that Andy Serkis will not be appearing in the upcoming Planet of the Apes film, which makes sense given that Caesar did die at the ending of War of the Planet of the Apes. Caesar was comparable with the 2010's Planet of the Apes trilogy, posing a significant challenge for Planet of the Apes 4. While the initial Planet of the Apes movies and Tim Burton's Planet of the Apes primarily primarily focused on the sci-fi part of the story, which included time travel and time inconsistencies, the Planet of the Apes relaunch prequel focused much more on the characters. Rise of the Planet of the Apes rooted the plot as much as possible by making Caesar the focal point. The Planet of the Apes trilogy released in 2010 did not focus on the planet of the war, but on how the conflict influenced Caesar's travels and vice versa. Caesar was an expertly written and depicted character who defined rise, dawn, and war, which means that whether Kingdom works varies based on the film series nailing its next main character. So, let's explore who will play the main character in the Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. The main character of Planet of the Apes 4 is yet to be revealed. However, Owen Teague has already been confirmed to play the film's protagonist via character animation and voice acting via deadline. Nevertheless, focusing on War for the Planet of the Apes and the franchise's history, Cornelius may be the main character in Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. Since he's the only one of Caesar's sons to stay alive throughout the events of War for the Planet of the Apes, Cornelius would have been old enough to maintain an upcoming movie trilogy in Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. Surprisingly, Cornelius was the main character in the initial Planet of the Apes films, although, in that universe, he was Caesar's father. Should the fourth movie of Planet of the Apes attempt to create a new Caesar? Planet of the Apes 4 could strive for a main character as sophisticated and layered as Caesar, but it should not simply develop a new Caesar. Whether it's Cornelius or a new character, the following main character in Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes can also allow the film to explore various sides of that world and move the story forward instead of simply regurgitating Caesar's Planet of the Apes journey. Rise, Dawn, and War each told a piece of a bigger narrative, and Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes and its potential trilogies could try to replicate that. Do you think the same? Let us know in the comments section. Given that Planet of the Apes 4 would also take place many years after War, the film may be an adaptation of the original Planet of the Apes film, which the 2010's trilogy chose not to do. If that's the situation, Cornelius as the new main character, as well as a new Caesar, who is this moment Cornelius 
Claudius's son makes a great deal of sense. Do you agree? Let us know in the comment section. Still, more than trying to continue Caesar's genetic heritage, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes should maintain the protagonist-focused approach of the past trilogy, whether with a new lead only or for a large cast of characters. So, does the Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes title disclose any details worth noting? Planet of the Apes 4 title discloses three important story details about apes, humans, and the timeline in Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. The attempts of Disney and 20th Century Fox to sustain the Planet of the Apes film series have resulted in the production of a fourth film that takes place after the events of War for the Planet of the Apes. After releasing very little relevant data about Planet of the Apes 4, the studios lifted the veil on Wes Ball's film to generate interest. These include presenting the movie's official title, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, having shared concept images, and affirming a few cast members. Coming right up, does the title, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, hint at the Apes Empire? The growth of the Apes' time and power is the first Planet of the Apes 4 narrative detail disclosed by the title, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. The previous three films depicted the emergence of apes and the establishment of a colonial power under Caesar's leadership. However, if it can be called a kingdom, that colony has grown in size. Rather than controlling a section of the forest or even a tiny village, the Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes will depict a huge ape empire spanning the ruins of simian flu-infected America. Does the title, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, give hints at a future setting? The title of the Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes teases the movie's perspective set in the Planet of the Apes sequence of events based on the concept of the ape civilization broadening into a kingdom. The film is set numerous years after the War for the Planet of the Apes, and also, the title emphasizes how much time has gone by since Caesar's death. Therefore, the Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes will likely occur years later to provide a believable window for the ape superiority to grow. Lastly, does the title Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes indicate humanity's fate? The title of Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes also teases humanity's fate. Despite how the ape team grew in resilience and statistics in the past, there were still enough humans around to pose a threat. Furthermore, the concept that the apes have a kingdom, like the original Planet of the Apes film, implies that they are currently the dominant species and civilization on Earth, suggesting that humanity is in shambles. That means Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes may depict humans in a similar situation to the original films in which they serve the apes. Alright, that's it for today's video. I hope you got some information out of it. Do you agree with our explanations? Let us know in the comment section. Also, let us know if there is anything you feel we should have told our viewers. So, be sure to like the video and subscribe for more similar content. Thanks for watching.